morning and hello. My name is Jasmine McDonald. If you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new, you may as well hit subscribe. Like I mentioned before, I post ballet and fitness related videos. And today is no different because I'm posting a get ready with me for ballet class. It is around 8 a.m. and I'm getting ready for my first class. And I figured I would take you guys along with me, show you my skincare, show you how I do my hair, what I get dressed in. I'll show you the leotard and everything. Um, and I'm also in our brand new bathroom. Comment down below if you want a full bathroom tour, but I'll just give you guys a mini update. What I love most is this shelving right here. I think it's gorgeous. Obviously I love the bathtub the most because it's my sanctuary. It's my safe place. I love it. We also have our brand new shower over there and that's the most of a preview I'll give because I do want to do a bathroom tour regardless if anybody wants it or not. Now this morning, I definitely need my dose of coffee and depending on the morning, I will have either an iced coffee if it's a little bit more warm and today is a little bit warmer, but it's still kind of like rainy outside and foggy, but I just felt like an iced coffee this morning. So this is just with some hazelnut creamer from Silk. So it's almond milk, it's dairy free. And I also have an espresso pod that's a lemon iced coffee, obviously ice inside. If it's really cold out, like in the winter, I will definitely have a latte, a warm pick me up in the morning because I cannot function without coffee. But yeah, I just rolled out of bed. So I'm not going to wash my hair today just because I am teaching and doing ballet class and I'm sweating a lot. So there's really no point to washing my hair. So usually I have a shower in the evening, unless I feel really grody, then I have a quick shower in the morning. Yeah, I'm not gonna shower this morning because my hair is actually a lot easier to work with when it's not super, super clean. Like two days ago, I washed my hair and I used the Whey, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but the Whey um, conditioner and it makes my hair super silky smooth. So I'm just gonna put my hair back so I can continue with my skincare. And I've recently been getting into the claw clip game because it's better for your hair because you're not tying it back with so many elastics like I do. So what I do for my claw clip is, this is the claw clip that I actually use. I got it from Winners. It was like, I think the whole package was $9 and I have this one and a little pink one I use for my bangs and I also have one that's like a tortoise shell and then the other one I just haven't used but I think it's white and it's somewhere downstairs in the other bathroom because we haven't finished actually taking everything from the downstairs bathroom to this bathroom. Um, we're still in the process of doing that because the renovation finished like sometime last week but yeah I just tie my hair in a loose ponytail and I actually pull the ponytail out of it and then I will use the claw clip. Don't mind I hold it in my mouth because I don't have three hands and then I'll just tie it like that. And this is not the hair that I keep to teach or to do class, but it's just what I do for my skincare in the morning. And it's good enough. I could not turn with this because this is not secure in any way, shape or form. And then I've recently been using the baby claw clip to put my bangs back because it's a lot easier than using the headband. I find the headband smushes the bangs and it makes the bangs all funky and weird. So I just kind of pin them back like this. Hello, I know it looks super silly and goofy. It's just gonna last for the entirety of my skincare, which is actually quite a bit. So let's get some coffee. Okay, now because I'm not taking off any makeup in the morning because I just woke up, I'm not going to use the one that I normally use at night, which is the Pharmacy Green Clean. And this is my absolute favorite. It smells like papaya, it's so delicious. And basically this one melts your makeup away. It's a nourishing facial cleansing balm that melts away makeup and pollution residue. Even the boldest eye makeup and long wear foundation are easily removed, leaving skin hydrated and silky smooth. So you basically massage it gently onto your dry skin. And then for eye makeup removal, you obviously have to close your eyes because I've gotten this in my eyes and it stinks. So don't open your eyes when you're taking it off. And then you just rinse it with a warm wipe or water. But since since I don't have makeup on, I'm not going to use that one. I use it at night strictly. I'm going to be using this facial cleanser from First Aid Beauty, and this is really great for dry skin, and you guys will notice I do have dry combination skin because I am breaking out time of the month, but I'm also very dry around my lips because they get very chapped, so I love using this. It's also dermalogerm dermatologist tested and it's not tested on animals. There's no fragrance, which is probably the best part, so I'm just going to get a generous that and I use a lot I know but I love my face to feel like really clean and really you know foamed out so I just apply a little bit of water and you don't need this much you really really don't but like I said I like to use this time in the morning to almost meditate and think about my day and reflect on the day before I know a lot of people say you shouldn't reflect on the day before in the morning because you're starting fresh and you're starting new and today's a new day and blah 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 but with what I do I can't help but reflect on the day before and think of, you know, the video that's about to post or what I emailed before or what classes I gave and how I'm going to build on them. Like I'm just very much a person 
that has trouble letting go in many ways. Yeah, I just reflect on the day before, and then after I do a little bit of that while I'm still doing my skincare, massaging my face a little bit, taking some time in the morning to think <laughs> and wake up, quite frankly, um, I think about what's in the day ahead. Like today I have class at eight, and then I have another class at 9.30 until 10.30, and then I have a bit of a break, which I'll do some chores. And now when it gets kind of like tacky, I kind of keep it on for a little bit and just stay here because I like it to kind of absorb in the skin, um, get into the pores. It kind of dries up, I don't know. Like I'm probably not supposed to do that, but let it lather up so that I can get really in there. Then I have a little bit of a break, which I'll do some, you know, housework, and then I have a class at three and another class at six. So I'll just wash this off. And I always use a clean towel, always. Even if I know I put it out that day, I will probably change it, just rewash it, or just find a clean one in the house because we have so many clean towels. I never, um, unless it's from a place where I know the towelettes are manufactured in a way that's less waste. I always reuse towels to clean my face, but I always make sure they're really clean because I have sensitive skin. Um, but I have used Slow Brew Botanical before. I've done videos. The last actually Get Ready With Me video, I used Slow Brew Botanical because they were sponsoring me for TikTok at the time. The, that's the only company that I use clean towelettes for because I know that when they manufacture the towelettes, most of them are recycled material and biodegradable. It's much better though to use a towel because it's a lot less waste. So once I pat my skin dry, I'm going to do a face mask. Now it depends on the time of day and it depends on the day. Usually I like to do a face mask in the evening, but I'm feeling like I need a little bit of extra cleansing today. So I'm going to do a face mask now. Now between these two, I've been kind of fluctuating between the two. I just used this one last week, which is a rice one, but I think I'm going to use the rose one today. I tend to have a little bit of a sensitivity to rose and orange, but you can see how like juicy and plumping this one is and I feel like what I need right now during the dry season of the year is more plumping, more hydration. So I'm going to use this fresh plumping mask from the body shop. It actually, I think it has actual rose petal in it. I'm gonna leave it on for five minutes just because I don't have that much time today, but usually I try to leave it on for 10, even 15 minutes and it says five to 10 minutes, but I leave it on for as much as possible and look at how gooey it is. I love that. Oh, I love it. It's just so, Oh my God, it smells so good too. That's what I always loved about my mom's skincare growing up. I would go into her bathroom and be like, mom, I want to do a face mask. And I'd use like extra moisturizer as a face mask, but it was so um, fragrant, but in a natural way, because she always, I think, now my mom watches my YouTube channel, so mom, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she always used Lancome or Clinique, but I forget which one it was, but it smelled so good and it smelled like rose petals. So this one I'm gonna leave on for five minutes because I don't have that much time today, but it just smells so good. I wish you guys could smell. Maybe through the screen you can smell it, but I'm just gonna rinse off my hands really quick, but it has a little bit of rose something in it. it must have rose petals because it has little chunks in it. So you can get a chunk, there we go. You can kind of see. I'm gonna put a little bit extra. You can never have too much plumping, especially when you're like me and you have super dry skin. So I'm just gonna rinse my hands. This is a good time to finish my coffee actually. I just love drinking from the straw. I feel like you're less likely to get it all over your mouth and stain your lips. So I love using a straw. And this straw, I think I got these from, I think they're from Winners. I want to say they're from Winners or HomeSense or even Ikea, but I know they weren't expensive at all. They were like $4 in a package. Almost done. Okay, it's been about five minutes, so I'm just going to rinse this off very quickly, but this is what it kind of looks like after five minutes. And my skin feels so soft. Oh my gosh, it feels so rejuvenated and like almost like jelly. You know what I mean? It feels so smooth and soft. Now that I've finished taking off my mask, I usually use a serum. However, today, because I did a mask, I don't want to over oilize. <laughs> I don't want to put too many oils on my face. So I'm just going to put this amazing dermatologist tested uh, moisturizer also from First Aid Beauty. This is the best moisturizer ever. I can feel when my skin's really dry, it almost tingles. And I don't know if that must be a good thing. It's working, but it doesn't tingle in a bad way. Like it doesn't burn. It just, I can feel it's moisturizing and hydrating my skin, um, but it is meant for dry skin. You can see at the back how it has a little cactus and if I could be represented in the plant, it would be a cactus because I'm super dry. So I'm just gonna put a helpful amount and kind of tap it into my skin. 
because I don't want to drag it along my skin, especially since I have dry skin. Less dragging you can do, I think, the better, honestly. So just tapping it, and I know this is kind of time consuming, and I don't have a lot of time today, so I'm doing it fast. I'm just kind of tapping it. I don't know if this is the correct technique or anything, but this is how I'm doing it. And I love watching like the Vogue Beauty Secrets videos because so many people have different ideas of what you're supposed to do for your skin. And I love watching Skin by Hiram and all the people who are actually experts in this field. Um, I haven't watched them in a long time just because I haven't had time with work. I used to watch them a lot. Um, I know I put a lot of moisturizer on, but believe me, my skin will absorb it because it needs it, especially first thing in the morning. I feel so dry. My skin's always been dry, especially living in Canada. And our house is right next to the beach, so I get a lot of wind and a lot of cold wind at that. So I'm gonna let that sink in. I'm also gonna put it on my hands and along my neck. While I let that kind of soak in, I've been loving using a gua sha, and this gua sha I actually got from, I wanna say Amazon, but it was only like $3, and I know my technique isn't perfect, but I feel like it makes a little bit of a difference in the morning, especially because it's cold. Jade is naturally cooling. You don't need to put it in the refrigerator or anything, but it's actually cold to the touch, which I love. It wakes my skin up and makes me feel good, and I think it kind of helps. So I'm gonna use this gua sha. It also helps with my TMJ. For those of you guys who don't know, I have crippling TMJ um, so bad that my doctor was literally like, you need to get an oral surgery because if you keep going at this rate, you're gonna need oral surgery. So I wear a mouth guard every single night or try to remember because it, it does this, if I know. And I didn't last night, quite obviously. So yeah, I use a gua sha and I just use my fourth finger to hold down the area that I'm gonna gua sha. So if I'm doing my under eye, I just do it very gently. And then when I get to the end of the bone, I just kind of wiggle it there. And I know you're supposed to do it at a certain angle too, like at a 45 degree angle or something. So I just do that. And I'm pretty sure you're supposed to work on the bottom. So I'm gonna do that. Oops, sorry guys, I'm gonna do that. And you should do this when your skin is hydrated and wet almost, because if you're dragging it along your dry skin, that is no good. And that's why I put my finger here too, so I'm not like pulling like this. It just kind of keeps the skin flat. And I do it gently. I don't like scrape my skin. And guys, please don't watch me and follow me for tips because I'm not a uh, expert in this. So go watch, I'll put a video in my description of somebody that I watch for gua sha. I'm just gonna work on this. I also have not waxed my eyebrows or plucked them in so long. And look, I feel like it does make a difference on one side, right? A little bit of a difference. I see it. Anyways, maybe you guys don't, but I do. Um, but yeah, I haven't plucked my eyebrows in a long time. Quite frankly, I think I'm just gonna keep letting them grow out and I have bangs now, so they kind of get covered anyways. It is what it is. Once I've done all of that, I go into some makeup and then I do my hair after and we're almost done getting ready. Okay, so I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes first and I know my thing is really dirty, but I don't have time to clean it. Now that I've curled my lashes, I actually put on a little bit of eyeshadow. I've been loving putting a little bit of highlight in the corner and at the top. And then I also put some like almost bronzer in the crease just to define my eye a little bit. Now, what I love most about the palette that I use is that it comes with a lot of neutral colors, but it also comes with some shimmery ones. If I'm feeling a little bit more, I don't know, inspired to do a shimmery eye, I can do that. And this one is from Miss Glam. Don't mind, it's really dirty because my mascara, of course, exploded. Now, first things first, First, I take my finger into the white color and I just put it on my eye almost as a base. Now, I don't do this makeup every day, but this is just kind of my quick go-to, like 20 second makeup. I don't blend it perfectly. I know that, but um, this is again, my quick 20 second makeup for Zoom. <laughs> if I were to do a Vogue interview, get ready with me, this would be my five minute Zoom ballet class eye makeup look because that's exactly what it is. So once I put a little bit of a base just to kind of even out the skin tone, I usually don't wear concealer either and I'm gonna stay off it just because I'm breaking out. I wanna let my skin breathe and I wanna honor my under eye circles because it's just more realistic. Anyways, so then I use and I apply this brown shade to the crease of my eye just dabbing it in like this. And I don't really um, blend it this way as much as I do dab it in so that I can really concentrate the color without streaking it. So I just kind of dab it in like this. And I actually don't do it in the crease of my eye because I kind of want to 
have that more lifted look. So if I look straight on, it's more of a line above the crease. So it gives more of a cat eye and you'll see, then I connect this corner up here a little bit and I do the same thing with my eyeliner later on. So I'll do that on the second side, just the same thing. Kind of like a line almost from the corner of my eyebrow here to the center of where my iris is and I just keep doing that. So my mirror's on this side, so that's why I keep looking that way. I tried to move the tripod onto the countertop, but it just did not work today. So I apologize that I'm not looking at you guys. Now I do use my brush from the corner of my eyelid to the corner of the crease that I just made just to kind of finish the enclosed shape. So I do that. And then I also put a little bit underneath kind of to pillow out my eye a little bit more. And this also looks better if you wear concealer, but again, I'm just not going to today. I just don't feel like it. I'm honoring my under eye circles. Then I'm going to use a little shimmery color and I feel like using this pink color, I think it would be really pretty. So I'm gonna use the same brush because I'm gonna blend it all together anyways and I don't really care. And I'm gonna put it in this corner. And same thing, I'm just dabbing out the color. And if I want more of that color, I'm actually gonna use another finger just to get even more onto there. And I kind of concentrate it into the center of my eyelid and a little bit of the corner. I try to keep most of the corner dedicated to the brown color just so I can kind of shadow it out a bit more. And then I'm gonna add a bit more of the brown here and kind of blend it out a bit more. And same thing, I'm still dabbing here. I do not want to streak it out, especially because my moisturizer is still drying. Um, it's still a little bit tacky which I find holds all of the, I almost called it flavor. It holds all of the pigment a little bit more. Um, you can also use a primer, but I just, the less I can keep on my face, the better. And the more natural the product is for my skin, the better as well. So I'm doing the same on the other side. Five feet away from the mirror, guys, so don't judge my makeup capabilities. And then I'm also going to use another brush just to kind of blend it out a bit more. Just a bigger, fluffier brush like this. And I'm just gonna use it on top and just blend it out. And it does take away some of the pigment, so that's why it's nice to kind of use your finger to really get it into your skin so that it stays a bit better. Now that I've done that, that's pretty much all that I'm gonna do, but I'm actually, I'm gonna use this fluffy brush on the dark color again and kind of just do a sweep. I know I said I don't wanna drag it across, but it mostly has to do with that brush as well. That brush is really good to concentrate pigment and this one's a bit better to blend with. So I'm also going to continue this corner all the way into here, all the way down my nose. I'm gonna do the same thing on the second side. Now it's very subtle. That's what I like about these colors. It's very subtle and it's perfect for zoom because it's enough contrast and enough contouring that it doesn't look super fake. Not that there's anything wrong with a super obvious makeup look at all because I do love those but it's just not what I want to have for zoom and like I said the more natural on my skin the better because I will be wearing this all day now next I'm gonna curl my eyelashes again because they're getting a little bit decurled I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner of course I'm using the Fenty Beauty eyeliner now I can't do this one on the camera because like I mentioned before me standing here is five feet away from the mirror and I need to be like this close to the mirror be able to do my eyeliner symmetrically. So don't worry, I will be back and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. I did want to break it down a little bit how I do the eyeliner because this is like my signature look, <laughs> I guess. And I do it from this corner, kind of going to the same corner that I finished out with the dark brown. And then I'm gonna connect it to the middle of, well, actually more like, I'm gonna connect it to where the outer corner of my iris finishes and I'll show you what I need. So it's kind of like that. And then I'm just gonna fill that in and do the same thing on the second side. Now they're not twins and they're not sisters, maybe they're cousins, but they're symmetrical enough for me, especially with bangs, it kind of just filters that out. And I don't wanna take too much time perfecting it because you know what? Beauty is not about perfection. <laughs> it is, I don't know, it's subjective. Anyways, then I'm gonna use this waterproof mascara from Too Faced Beauty and I just kind of put it on. And this mascara is really dry because I've had it for way too many months. So I go on top of this layer with the Huda Beauty mascara as well. I'm just gonna shimmy it on there. Shimmy it on there, you know? And I do get a bunch of it on my eyebrows probably, but that's fine. Wow, this camera really picks up on every single detail. 
I'm just noticing that because I can see it in the viewfinder. I'm like, oh my God. Well, I shouldn't call it a viewfinder. It's literally just a mirror behind the camera. But you know, one day, one day I'll have all the equipment for you guys. So there, I just put a little bit of mascara. I also put mascara on the bottom eyelashes and I make sure that I use a waterproof one for here because this is where if, I don't know, if I'm crying one day, then it stays. I'm just kidding, I don't cry every day anymore. And then I will use the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes, which my mom gave me a few months ago. And because I don't use this one as often, it's less dried out. I should probably replace my mascara more often, but you know what? I just do not wear makeup every day unless I teach. On my days off, I do not wear makeup. The only time I do is when I teach. Even some of my YouTube videos, I'm like, mm, nah. Just trying to honor my face the way it is a little bit more. Oops, there, and that's probably enough. And now I'm just gonna clean up that little splooge. Now I don't do anything with my eyebrows because I do have bangs and because I've had them up for so long, they are wild. I will use some water just to de-poof them. Well, actually they're not that, they're not that bad. Now for my lips, I typically use a gloss or moisturizer or a lip mask. I love the Laneige one. I just add some of the Bite Beauty Lip Pencil Crayon, which I don't know where it is, somewhere in the house. But I usually use the lip crayon on my lips for some pigment, and then I use the Laneige lip mask to put on top as a gloss. But today I'm just gonna use the Rare Beauty Gloss. Just put that, I kind of make like an X on the top. X, an X marks the spot for treasure, you know. And get into there. And then if I want, I find the thing with rare, 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 rare beauty is that there's not a lot of pigment. So I'm actually going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills for a bit more pigment and it's fall. So I can go with the darker color and afford to do that. Ooh. I love this one. It's really dark, but you know what? Like I said, it's fall. It's more of a muggy day outside. So. And then that is the finished look with my makeup for my hair. I just kind of redo this, but I brushed out my hair really quickly with so my favorite thing about this bathroom is that I bought one of these. Huh, I almost painted, that felt so good. I love these things, oh my gosh. I'm gonna be here all day. Sorry guys, I got a stack brush my hair back, make it a li little bit smoother. And now this is the reason I love when my hair is a little bit greasy for dancing because I don't have to use hairspray or anything like that. And it just kind of stays perfectly. It is just a little bit of grease and that's fine. So I've got my ponytail all brushed out and I'm just going to tie it back like so and just do the exact same thing with this clip. I'm going to twist it at the back, take it all the way up. And then I do a little bit of a loop on the top and tuck these under because I have pretty long hair, holding it. And then I clip it. And if I am doing ballet class where I'm gonna be turning, I would secure it with some pins, but I'm just teaching today, so I'm not going to be turning that much, and it's a little bit wonky, but it has character, and I'm just gonna quickly change. Ta -da! And I'm gonna clasp it at the back as well. There you go. And this is the finished look. I will put some jewelry on, probably. And the leotard that I'm wearing is from Slayer Dance. The skirt that I wear to teach is my Halar skirt, which has pockets, you guys, which is probably the best part. There we go. Now in terms of accessories, I never wear necklaces or bracelets because I feel like they're just too clanky during class, but I always wear rings and the more rings, the better in my opinion. So the rings that I have on, this one is from Old Navy. This one is the promise ring Stephen gave to me a year or two ago. This one is my mom's graduation ring from Western. Also, why are my hands sparkly? Something is sparkly, I don't know. Oh, from... For my eyeshadow, of course. This one my mom gave to me, it's a clotter ring. I'm part Irish as well as indigenous and Scottish. So this dates back to some heritage and this ring is actually from Charmed Aroma. And I think it was appraised for like $175 or something or $200, which is pretty cool. Um, and then of course, the earrings that my mom gave to me from, from Chanel. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. I gotta get to work because I'm going to be late. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing, and bye now. Also comment down below if you want a bathroom tour, even though I'm definitely gonna do it regardless. <laughs> okay, see you.